Hey, Sean here from SpeedQBView.com. So from being on different Facebook groups and forums, I see many people wanting to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to talk you through what you need to do. First, let me tell you my story. Around March of 2015, I realized that there was something missing from the community. A website for people to go to to see other opinions on cubes that was a professional looking site and wasn't set on trying to sell you something in the process or a form which can often be difficult to sift through. I had made a site like this in the past with things dealing with violin strings, so I used that idea to create SpeedCube Review. Through the patience of my wife and the help of other speed cubers out there like Critical Cubing, the Cubologist, Just Keep Cubing, Chris Olson, and the Cube Dude, who submitted reviews when it was just getting started and trusted me to keep the site going, I was able to get it off the ground. I hope to give back by spotlighting their reviews on specific pages and linking people back to their own content. I did not want to start a YouTube channel initially. There are already people like them doing that, and they did it well. There came a time when I wanted to post a couple things on the site which needed a video to help give a visual as well. That is where my YouTube channel started. I still do not like to do too many reviews, and I only do them with cubes that people are very interested in and avoid ones that I feel would just clog up the channel with unnecessary videos. My main goal with the channel is to make educational videos, things that I felt would have helped me when I started and either do not exist or do but I feel like could be presented in a different way. That is why I do not blog or do any averages of five usually. Things may change in the future but for the moment that is not my intent. So now on to people making a channel. The first thing you should ask yourself is why do you want to make a channel? Do you want to make a blog? Do you just want to have fun making videos? Do you want to do reviews or some other reason? The reason why that is so important is because if you want to make a blog or just do it for fun, go ahead. Don't worry about subscribers or anything. If they like the content, they will subscribe. I talked to someone who said they wanted people to subscribe to their new channel. I asked what their goal was, meaning what they wanted to do with it, and his reply was his goal is 100 subscribers. If your goal is to have a certain number of subscribers over making content that will bring subscribers, then you're doing it for the wrong reason. I had someone else say to me that it's next to an possible to get noticed because there are already so many people on YouTube. I agree. So if you want to be noticed, make content that is different. That can be hard to do, but doing a video that seems like someone else already covered it in a similar way will not drive people to watch more. The biggest thing people want to do is share their opinions on their cubes. If you just want to share your opinion again, do not worry about how many people subscribe. I made a website so people can have that outlet and get through all the clutter that is already on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people looking for free cubes through their channel. It is true that companies will send out cubes and many of them are quite generous with newer cubers, but please do not start a channel for that reason. I feel lucky to have gotten where I am, but many, if not most of my cubes, I purchased. As far as equipment, I do not think you need any super fancy camera or microphone, but you know what it's like to see something that is grainy with bad audio. It can just be hard to watch. You do not need something fancy, but just make something that you would want to watch yourself. No one can just pick up a camera and overnight be as well known and popular as the big names out there today. Even if your content is the same high quality, people already know who they want to get their information from. This has been a crazy ride so far and I feel honored that so many people have cheered me on. Thank you for watching. This is not made to discourage anyone from making a YouTube channel, but instead please think about why you want to make a channel and do it for the right reasons. Either way, have fun with it. I've seen current YouTubers get angry when people thumbs down their videos or critiquing their work. Yes, there are people who control, but take most of that and use it to make better and higher quality content. Above anything, have fun and enjoy cubing. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.